Okay, abandoned campsite number three. I'm going to attempt to find a way down into those woods to show you the third abandoned campsite on this island. Let me see what time it is, how much time I have before sunset. It is 7.06. I still have 19 minutes before sunset. We're doing good. i got to be careful going down here. It's really steep. Oh, man. All right. Now, this one, while there's not an actual remains of a tent, there is a lot of stuff. There's a blanket, litter. Perhaps at one point they were using this as a table. An old camp chair. Another old camp chair. A piece of wood. Now this, they might have been using this as a makeshift tent, a DIY tent, as I like to call them. I wonder if it's cheaper just to buy a tarp than an actual tent. Probably it is. It must be because it's, I'm sure it's cheaper to make a tarp than a tent. And there's not much more here. There's an old, I don't even know what that was. Perhaps that was a table for them too, or a wall to their little structure. They did do a lot of littering. If I were a wilderness dweller, I would trek my litter out with me, but that's just me. Not trying to judge people, but I don't like littering. And I just want to show you this real quick. There's a little cute little uh, grassy clearing over here. Not sure if it's a natural clearing or if someone cleared it out at some point, but it's very pretty. Okay. Now we'll see if we can make it up that embankment again and continue on towards the dam. I think that deer is long gone now. I don't think we're going to see her again tonight. My pants are falling out. All right, back up to the raceway wall. But yeah, as I was saying at the end of the last video, you know, I don't, I, I'm just grateful for everything that's happened to me this far with my YouTube channel. And you know, I don't wanna jinx it by, you know, making any predictions, but I do have some commitments to myself about it. Number one, I'm committed committed to making enough videos so that jam I can do it. Get up this. Ah. Okay, I'm not going up that way. I'm gonna go up a different way. Use this still fallen tree. There we go. Alright, like I was saying, I'm committed to uh, uploading one video a day. Uh, indefinitely slash as long as I can. Um, that's number one. Uh, I helps, and uh, I've also set some benchmarks. I uh, try to publicize my channel. I mean, my videos. Pretty much every video, a little bit at least, on one side or another. Uh, and that gets me that gets, that gets me some views. And that might be some advice for you. And the third thing is, like I said at the end of the last video, um, you want to try to interact with other channels and. Try to get them interested in your channel like you are in theirs. And so my goal is to try to get 20 subscribers a day. And I figure if I can get 20 subscribers a day, which I have been actually succeeding in doing for the past few days, which is how I managed to get up to where I'm at right now. Uh, but if I or you can, by the way, look, the path is opened up again because we're getting close to the dam. People have entered it from the Coventry side. Coventry, which we may already be in at this point. But yeah. So if I can get 20 subscribers a day, every day, for a year, if you do the math, that comes out to 7,000 subscribers after a year. And if I have 7,000 subscribers after a year, and if you were to do the same thing, hell, if you set a goal for yourself of just 10 subscribers a day, you still have 3,500 subscribers at the end of a year. So, I mean, that's the way, you know? And what I've heard is that you can, I mean, as it, as your channel gets more, gets bigger, it becomes easier because things come in more naturally. You don't have to work as hard to get views to get subscribers because the more well-known your channel is and the more YouTube is publicizing it and putting it on, uh, you know, closer to the front page of a search, the less work you have to do. So, but yeah, those are my goals and, uh, wow, look at that. 
but I, I hope I succeed at it and I really hope that you if you have your own channel that you succeed as well and if you don't want your own channel you just like to view videos sorry to bore you with all this talk of channels but I'm just really interested in the topic right now so I just wanted to share with you now uh, yes we're approaching the dam really sh shortly look at the water is you probably hear that it's almost like a little bit of white water down there mini white water or the closest that we come to it in Rhode Island oh yeah that's not that's like a little waterfall right down there a little teeny waterfall some foam and there's the dam coming up yeah we're definitely I think on the Coventry side now uh, excuse me Coventry borders West Warwick Okay, now this is the tricky spot. Thankfully, we haven't had much rain, so. But yeah, the only way across here, it's a bit tricky. Luckily, some nice folks have put a bunch of boards and fallen tree branches and whatnot right here. So, basically, I just I did this the last time I came. I just balanced and just try to get across. I am going to take my glasses off and put them in my backpack so they don't fall off my face as I'm crossing. I'll put them back on afterwards. Uh, just stop here for a minute. Just set the camera down on this tree. And, geez, my hair's probably all messed up by now. And I'll put my glasses in their case. So if anyone wants to collaborate, I know I said this in a previous video, but if anyone wants to do a collaboration, uh, in, in this case I'm referring to an in-person collaboration, um, and you live in or are going to be traveling to Rhode Island, Massachusetts, or Connecticut anytime, and you want to publicize your channel while publicizing mine and each other's channels, while having fun meeting a new friend and going on an adventure, hit me up, because, uh, you know, I noticed that a lot of the channels that get bigger, they get bigger because they're collaborated with people, so. Alright, so there is the glasses. Now, the other trick is going to be how to, I guess I'll put my camera around my neck and hope it doesn't fall off into the water as I'm crossing that. This will be a good finish to this particular video. All right, here we go. All right, again, my acrophobia is really bothering me, but I'm gonna try to be brave. I have crossed this dam once before, so. If you just kinda, forgive me if the camera's shaking. Just kind of use your hand as well as your feet. It makes it a little bit easier. And the other side over here, a little harder because it's not as many boards and branches. But luckily, ha, huh, I made it. Wow. Whew. Yeah, this little damn thing right here is only about a foot or 10 inches wide itself, so. Oh, all right, it's good to know I don't have to do that anymore tonight because I'm going to take the street home or to my car, I mean. I'm probably just going to leave this camera around my neck because I'm going to be coming to civilization momentarily. I need to get my glasses out again, though. All right, so here's... Now, wait a minute. Oh yeah, here's the dam. The water is going. You know what? I'm thinking the water isn't coming through that side very much. I'm thinking it's going through the narrow area. 
yeah, this is where the water's rushing through. That's the start of the raceway over there. And it's going across where we just were. I guess the dam will let water go over here if there's a lot of rain, it'll go over. I haven't had much rain lately. I'm pretty sure when I came here last time, actually, the water was going over this dam. So I think it's because we haven't had much rain. It's late August, we not a time of year, and the only way we get a lot of rain. Um, I'm thinking that uh, because we haven't had much rain, that's why the dam isn't having any water go over it right now. If I had time, I might even try to cross it, but not tonight. All right, so let me get my glasses out. So yeah, this is going to be, there's probably going to be one or two more videos, possibly three in this series, and that'll be it. I have tons and tons of ideas of places to take you guys. You know, some places, I mean, a bunch of abandoned places, a bunch of, you know, just path through the wood type places. What's wrong with my glasses? Something on my glasses, I hate when that happens. Anyway, um, but yeah, lots of places I want to take you. I'm going to end this video and start it again in a minute after I get my, video, my glasses clean. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe.